Vegas Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do callouts in Vegas Pro 14. Now something I want you to be aware of before you actually get into this tutorial, if you watch my After Effects tutorial on this, this does not look as good. Doing it in After Effects is so much more better, it's so much more easier because After Effects has that tracker. Vegas Pro 14 does not. So I'm going to do the same thing again, it's on the exact same video. And as you'll see, I want it to be working on this hash key. Now, I'm going to be doing something a bit different to how maybe someone else would do it. And what I'm going to do firstly is right click, insert another video track. And now I'm going to head over to media generators. If you don't see it, then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. So from media generators, scroll all the way down and you want to select solid color. Now, this color is going to be the one which is going to be the circle or maybe a square that's going to be on the key that you want to show. I'm going to go with a cyan. I'm going to drag and drop this on and I'm going to X out of it. You'll see our entire screen is now blue. That is okay. We're going to come to the event pan and crop. From there, you're going to select the mask. Make sure you are on the first keyframe and then you can choose. You want an oval or circle? Do you want a square or a rectangle? Completely up to you. And of course, if you want to make your own shape, use the uh, pen tool. So I'm going to use a circle and you can see if I just left click and drag, it's not going to stay in proportion. So to keep it in proportion, hold shift and just drag out a circle like this. And I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to X out to this and I'm going to track motion and I'm going to put this on to the key right here. And I'll actually size it down a little bit more. Now I'm going to right click, insert another video track and this time we're going to make the line that stems from this circle. So for the line, I'm going to have a white. I'm going to drag and drop it again. You can see it takes up the entire screen. We come over to mask and this time for the uh, line, we are actually going to use the rectangle tool and just left click and drag out a line like so. Again, I'm going to come over to track motion and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to position this right next to the circle like so. And of course, the final thing we need to add is the text and I'm going to again right click insert another video track. This time head over to legacy text and pick one with a checkered background. If it has a checkered background, that means there's no background to that text. I'm going to add on the soft shadow and I'm going to call this hash key. I'm going to uh, change the font and I'm going to take it off bold. Okay, there we go. And then the final thing, I'm going to use track motion and position this right here. So as you can see, what we have just created is the circle, the uh, line going up and of course the hash key. So if I play this through, this is what we currently have. Yes, it is completely off and it should be like that. What we're actually going to do is turn this into a blue screen or a green screen. For me, I'm going to use a blue screen. So I'm going to right click, insert a video track, and then I'm going to come over to solid color. I'm going to add on a blue screen underneath. Now, before we go further, this is where we can add some transitions or some effects to what we have on screen. So for example, the circle, the line and the text. So for that, we're going to head over to transitions. If you don't see it, then simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. And from transitions, just go and look and experiment to see which ones you like. So I'm on the gradient wipe and I want circle out for, of course, the circle. So I'm going to drag and drop this here. And then I don't want the white line to come in straight away. So I'm going to drag this across a little bit like here. And for this one, I will be adding a wipe. This one right here, um, bottom right diagonal. So drag and drop it again. Then of course, the final thing is the text. I'm just going to have a simple fade for this. And this is now complete. So this will be the full uh, transitions of it. So it'll circle out the line and then the text will fade in like so. Now what we're going to do is actually render this section out where the blue screen is. So we're going to double click, make sure it is highlighted like so, make sure this is set to best and full, and then simply render as your normal settings. So it is rendered, you'll see I have it up here, but what I'm going to do with this section here that we created, I'm going to hold shift and select the three here and just drag it up to the side. That way, if we ever want to edit it, we can just scroll across and edit it from here. And I can delete this blue screen because it's not needed like so. And now I'm going to add on the blue screen uh, video we just rendered. And I'm going to right click and delete this audio track because it's not needed. And if I play this through, that is what we get. So we need to get rid of this blue screen. The way we do that, head over to video effects. From video effects, we come down and we look for chroma key, which is right here. And I'm going to add on the default for now. Then I'm going to select the color. I'm going to select the color picker, select the background, and it removes it like so. And I'm also going to bring up the low threshold just a little bit as well. Now, this is where the keyframing part comes into it. So we come across 
you can see that circle is already not in position. So right from here, this is where we select track motion. Now you're going to need some patience here and I'm also going to just uh, cut this shorter so it's not too long. So for this, make sure sync cursor is checked and now we're simply going to move the dot every time over the hash key. Make sure you try and find a point where you can keep going over and over again because then it'll be more accurate for you. I'm then going to come across just about here and I'm going to bring it back. You'll see I'm not going to do individual frames and you'll see how this will end up working out as well. I'm then going to come across about here. Again, I'm going to bring it back to the hash key right there. Then I'll come across a little bit more here. Again, put it over the hash key. And then one at the last frame up here. And again, put it over the hash key like so. So if I play this through, this is what we currently have. So you can see it's moving on and off the hash key. So that means we're going to add more frames for the uh, track motion. So I'm just going to come across and each time it is moving a little bit more, I will be repositioning it. Okay, so you can see I've added a few more frames here and now I'm going to play it through. As you'll see, this is what we'll get. And to be honest, that is the cleanest you are going to get in Vegas Pro 14. Again, we don't have access to a tracking tool, which would be useful like we do in After Effects. But you see, doing like this way is the best way you're going to get it. And to be honest, it's not too bad, but it is bad because it is a bit shaky. But it could be worse. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to do as well. But I do recommend if you do have After Effects, definitely be sure to check out my tutorial on how to do this in After Effects. So much more easier and so much more quicker. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.